Welcome back everybody to Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War. We're at this really nice pool called the Pool of Peace where we can take a drink. And it's awesome. In your mouth. What time is it? Uh, uh It's you know what? It's close to nighttime, but I think there's some more we can do. You can sleep here. It's a completely safe place to sleep at night. Nothing will come get Hero? Hello? Oh. Turp. I want to keep looking around, though. I really do. Wait, what? Something already? What could it be? Oh my god, I hope it's not a battle. Oh crap! It is a battle, and I'm not ready because I didn't heal. No! How could this have happened? How did I for- Oh boy. I'm gonna get smushed. Freaking- <laughs> Crap! I am in big trouble. Big trouble. You don't know how big. Get out of here. Oh, oh boy. All right, well, here's our first death screen. <laughs> Crack by a croc. This overgrown lizard left you crying crocodile tears. Hero business isn't all it's crocked up to be. <laughs> uh, oops. Well, all right. I like how he falls over in a heap. <laughs> Alright, let's not do that again. <laughs> what can we do? I don't have any healing stuff, do I? No, because we haven't... Just poison cure pills, I think. That's not going to work. Alright, maybe we can... I didn't anticipate this. Yeah, we have 11 health. That's like nothing. I don't even know how he's standing up at the moment. Let's try doing this. Let's try resting. Okay. How much did that give me? Oh my god. <laughs> what? It only gave me 15? So it gave me 4. Are you serious? Are you serious? I don't even think I could walk back. Ah, oh, crap. This is gonna be ridiculous. What do I do? Uh-huh. Another four? Ooh, a whole twenty. Oh god, this is not how I wanted to start. You know what? It's gonna it's gonna be nighttime. Let's just sleep till morning. Hello, morning What? I'll give you impatient. You know what? I don't care. We're going for it. We're not gonna die this time. Let's do this. Yeah! Come get me, fools! It's the middle of the- Are you serious? Is it gonna be a fight in the same exact place? Really? Ah, crap, it's another ant. Hell to the no. Getting out of here. There's no need to fight you. I'm running! It's night time! He's gaining on- <laughs> Fast and the Furious! Run, hero! <laughs> Why do they make you run through so many screens? Come on, it's obvious he's not even behind me anymore. Oh my, all this needs is Benny Hill music. Come on, this is gonna be the worst recording ever. Freaking die within the first two minutes. I don't even think it was two minutes, I think it was one minute. <laughs> oh no! I knew I shouldn't have done this now, I'm too- yeah, this time. I'm too full of Chinese food to pay attention. I'm like ready for a nap. Alright, let's do something we probably shouldn't do. Let's make a camp out here and see if anything happens to us. Build a fire? Of course. You definitely want to build a fire. Because if you don't, you'll definitely get attacked. And you can even get attacked, I think, while you have the fire up. So it's not exactly guaranteed. Let's light it. And it takes him forever to do this for some reason. He was not a boy scout. And let's... Can we just click on the... Oh, right. You pick up some rocks. Because that's what I wanted to do, is pick up rocks. Let's sleep till morning. It's a good idea to camp out here, because sometimes you can meet interesting people or things randomly. Not every time. We'll see if we do. Nope. 
we slept through uninhibited, but we'll uh, we'll sleep out here again and see if we can meet anybody. All right, people. Very important. Put the fire out. If you don't, Smokey the Bear will get you. How's our health? It's still not even perfect, but it's good enough. All right. So let's move on out in the savanna. So we have to keep track also of how many days we've been out here with the Simbani. So this will be the second day that we've been kind of within the Simbani village. It's kind of important that we figure this out. What now? Wait, what? Hey, look at that! That could be a honeybird. Didn't the guy say he needed something from them? Let's follow it. Come back, birdie! Fucking a lot of random idle running. Oh. Okay. This looks dangerous. The tree has grown <laughs> This tree has grown where no tree has grown before. What? That is silly. I want to look at the bird. You see a honeybird sitting comfortably in the tree. The bees do not seem to bother it. Wait, no, I wanna look at can I look at the U C D bees? <laughs> I see what you did there. Killer bees. Okay, so we definitely don't want to touch them. Right? Or do we? <laughs> I don't even care anymore! How many ways can we get the hero to die? Let's find out. I want to do something extremely educated. As soon as my game lets me. Oh my gosh, saving in this game is so like... No! Don't tell me to think again. I want to touch him. I'm gonna go right underneath. I scared the bird, but now what? Are you serious? These bees won't even kill me? Are you serious right now? Bothering the bees would not be considered one of your better moves. I don't care! I'm gonna throw a rock at them. Can I do that? <laughs> okay. Yes! Take that! Damn bees. I'm not even hitting them. That's how awesome I am at this. Uh-oh, you bothered the bees. No, no, oh, I'm spazzing out. <laughs> Killer bees, I can't believe you bugged the bees. Before you bothered the bumblebees, remember that they can bother you back. Ha ha. Okay, I'm sorry, enough of this shit. I'm being silly today. So, when the honeybird is there, we already kind of got this from Selene, if anyone was even paying attention back then. Um, what we want is to take the jar of honey and put it on the floor. Pour the honey onto the ground. And then what we'll do is leave. Because the honey bird likes honey. But we don't want to get near those bees. When you do that, you see this little marker so that you know to come back here. All you have to do is really just leave the screen and come back, I think. And it should be done. You don't need to, like, wait a certain amount. Yep! He's stuck! Oh no! His love for honey was tragic. The bird looks like it enjoys wallowing in the honey. Oh. It makes it look like he's struggling for his life. Can we talk to you? Nope. Alright, well, you do look like you're struggling, so... Oh no! Come back! He left. But he left a feather. Sweet! Get it? Herp. Okay, so that's one of the things we needed for, I believe, the healing pills that Selim needs. Honeybird feather. It is a soft, brightly colored honeybird feather. Alright, so that's one thing. Didn't we also need poisonous fruit and a gem? Where the hell am I going to get those things? Let's find out. Forget the Simbani, they're boring. I'm trekking. What we got here? What's going on here? Oh god, these ants! Oh, you're kidding me! No! They're so annoying! That's it, I'm vanquishing this one. You don't even know. You do not even know. You are in big trouble. You are in big trouble, sir. Oh my god, I've gotta turn that automatic parry off. It is so bad. It is so bad. Someone remind me to do that! Why haven't I done it already? It's kicking my ass! Well, he's not kicking me as bad as before. 
Come on, stop parrying and get him. Oh my god. The poop throwing knows no bounds. Oh my god, Hero, you suck. You completely suck. You know, obviously, freaking stabbing him. What the heck? What just happened? You know what? Fine. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Slay you! Run! Beavis, run! This game is so obnoxious in its battle system. Of course it was my fault for not turning off the thing. Whatever. Everyone's gotta have one of those LPs where it's just like, what the hell is going on? This is one of them. I'm running away. He runs really weird. Like he's got a big load in his pants. <laughs> or something. I got away this time. Oh my god, it's day six. Let's get the hell out of here. That ant's gonna follow my red poop trails. What now? Are you serious? No. No, I'm getting out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you see this thing, run. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. This is not good. This does not bode well. Holy crap. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> We're not ready to fight this thing yet. This is a Pterosaurus. We've seen these, I believe, in King's Quest 1 and 2. He is not easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. So dead. We do not realize how dead we are. I'm not even hurting him. I'm not even touching him. Are you serious right now? You know what? No. No. I'm just going to let the computer take care of it. Go ahead. I haven't even hit him once. <laughs> Come on, hero, you can do it. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever bring you down. Come on. <laughs> we did not make it. <laughs> Dinosaur. That's the sorest you've ever been. The dino might have <laughs> left you alone, but it decided to... So Excuse me, I was not done reading it. It <laughs> decided to lower the boom and blew your chances of being a hero sky high, and we turned into a burger. Oh. My god. And I didn't mean to restart, either. <laughs> I don't care, I'm leaving this up. This is what happens when you don't sleep. <laughs> oh my god, this is absolute retardedness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What has happened? Oh my gosh, we're back here. I apologize. I really apologize. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna mess up anymore. I promise. I did not mean to do that either. Okay, now I'm not gonna mess up any- <laughs> I'm too busy laughing at myself to even take this seriously anymore. Alright. He pisses on the floor. And, <laughs> and then he leaves. Like a true hero should. That I can't believe I ran into that thing. Every time I try to find one of those on purpose, I can never find them. And then I just ran into it just like that, arbitrarily. That is ridiculous. And we will need to run into that guy later, unfortunately. But we're, n we're definitely not strong enough right now to take him on. And also, I'm going to do this right now before I forget, because you guys are probably screaming at me. I'm changing... I'm changing this. That should help. I have no skill. Alright, we got the feather. Let's move! I really wanted to... Maybe if I go up this way I'll avoid what just happened. I can't believe that happened. Come on. I mean, you can usually walk through here without any kind of... pain in the butt. Alright, where I want to go I believe is right here. And these little rock croppings right here. Yes. Look at this. On the rocks here form a small alcove where some very interesting looking plants are growing. On the far side you see some animals watching over the plants. They look like meerkats with wings. They must mean meerbats. What? It's weird. Whoa! What is he doing? That looks dangerous. What did he do? 
Whipping out your famous explorer's guidebook, you identify the creature as a mirabat. What about these? This vine is covered with ripe, bright fruit. They don't look very friendly, though. These vines look like they're covered with sharp, spiky bits. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look good. So what do we do? Alright, well, they look like a bunch of fun. I'm just going to sit there and watch. I think we need to go back. Let's see if they'll do anything next time. So I guess he's like grabbing the fruit off the vine and it's all freaking out because it's evil, poisonous vine. Uh, game? Oh. Oh! Oh no! That little one's caught! What do we do? Well, I'm not getting near that thing, that's for damn sure. So, uh, oh. G grab some rocks? If you don't, you can just pick them up off the ground. And throw some rocks at it. Yeah, that'll show him. Poor guy. Wonder if he's okay. The vines which grow here have now retreated into small holes in the ground. And they go away, except the little guy. He's kind of sitting there looking at us. Well, I hope he's okay. This is ridiculous how you have to keep going back. Hey, here he is again. As you approach these rocks, you notice a small beer mat, uh, bleh, mirror bat watching for you. What's all this? You see a ring of stones here. In the center of the circle is a glowing stone and some fruit from the venomous vine. Huh. He left these for us. How nice. You pick up the rock, which seems to be a glowing opal. You also get the fruit and put them carefully away in your pack. Yay! I think that's two more things that we needed. So, fire opal weighs six quarks. The round, smooth stone seems to glow in your hand. And we also got the fruit. Venomous vine fruit. You worked hard to get this fruit, but I wouldn't suggest making a snack of it. No, I believe you will die. Alright, one more thing I need to do. We're done here. If you don't help that little bat, by the way, you actually do get a game over. It is not a... Uh... So it's prudent that you rescue your fellow animal companions. Let's go back to Tarna and see if we can find Rakesh, Bone, and Kresha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That screen was annoying. Alright. We're back! Civilization! Real food! You do want to come back to Tarna a couple of times even while you're out at the Simbani and even when you go further out into the jungle. There's a couple of things we can do here. So... Other than waiting for screens to load, I mean. Um... What time is it, first of all? Okay, it's almost night time. So what we should do... Do we have everything we need for the... Health potion now? I can't remember exactly. I should remember. What's up, dude? Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, good day and good night and good lifetime to you. Uh-huh. How you doing there, Captain? You doing good? Good to see you, man. Okay, let's tell him about what we've done. Let's tell him about the feather. Like, wow, great! Now I can concoct some really neat healing pills. Which we obviously need. Tell about the vines. Game. Tell about them. <laughs> you tell how you got the fruit from the venomous vine. Wow, what an adventure! Uh-huh. Tell about the pool. Because we got the water from there. I knew there was one out in the savannah. I'm glad you found it. Stories here say something about a beautiful woman magic user making magic spring. Someone named, uh, let me think, Irana. That was it. That's all I know about it. And Irana, you obviously would know from King's Quest 1 and 2. So she made the pool of peace. Makes sense. Alright, let's give him our things that we don't need. Get rid of some of this weight. So we'll give him the feather. Hey, great, you got the feather! Now I can make some more of the pills that heal. Here, take what's left of my healing pills and trade for this fine feather. I thought you said you didn't have any. You liar. So at least he gave them to us for free. Alright, let's give him this. Gee, you got this stuff. Hope you didn't get hurt. No, nah, no, nah, we just got trampled by a freaking rhinoceros beast and, you know, whatever. Um, oh, and water from the pool. Great, this piece of water will really mellow out the potion. We needed something else, didn't we? 
I think we needed a uh, gem of the world. We don't have that yet. So, is there anything else I can talk to him about? I don't think so. Let me just make sure. <laughs> I didn't say what I need. Haha. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you later, dude. I'm walking so upright. All right. I need to get this shit done. Seriously, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's starting to get dark, and that's what I want. So, let's run, not walk. And if we're correct in our timing, we might have a an incident we can witness down here. Quest for Glory games always run on a time clock that's very interesting, so you, you can miss events, and you definitely don't want to do that. Sometimes you have to check a few times. Nope, this is still open. We have to wait for the bazaar to be closed. It looks like it's getting dark, so it should close soon. Time? Synchronize your swatches. Alright, let's try now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the running around haphazardly. <laughs> Here we go. Remember this guy? You! You gotta help me! Please help! No one around here is allowed to talk to me. I can't buy anything. No one will take my money. You can't imagine how bad it is to be considered without honor in this place. Ah, he's finally learning the justice. He thought it was no big deal. And now he's here by himself. You greet him. You don't know how good it is to hear someone say that to me. Ah, maybe he's learned his lesson, huh? Let's talk to him a little bit. You gotta help me! He's begging. Big deal, I thought. What kind of punishment is losing honor? I never had much to do with honor anyway. Now I know what they mean when they say, without honor. It means no one can talk to me. It means no one even looks at me. It's as if I was dead or something. You're breaking some sort of law just listening to me. I've got no place to stay except in the tents of the bazaar at night. I've got no use for money. I can't buy anything. I can't even get away because caravans are coming because of the war rumors. Oh, they're not coming. Sorry. Poor guy. I don't know what to do. I'm starving. The only food I get is some meat that that dog guy leaves behind at night. Jeez, it's a good thing it's still warm at night or I'd freeze to death. I heard you was trying to stop this war. Well, I'm not much for politics, but go for it. Stop this war and then the caravans will come back again. Then maybe I can get away to some place where they can only cut off your hand if they catch you stealing. Well, then how would you... Never mind. Look, call me Harami, please. I stopped here with the last caravan, thinking to pick up a few things here and there and go on my way. How was I supposed to know there was going to be no more caravans coming here? Okay, no big deal. I can make a living for a while. Next thing I know, I'm caught, and they bring up all kinds of things they say I stole. How'd they know? If I knew they saw me, I wouldn't have stolen in the first place. Uh-huh. Well, that doesn't exactly make it okay, but whatever. Man, I just want to get as far from here as I can. Me too. I don't like this place either. <laughs> I hear the merchants talking about war all the time. If you don't do something about peace, I'll never get out of here. So he's still a little selfish, but, um... I guess you can't blame the guy, really. Let's give him some rations. Thanks, pal. And I think... Can we give him water? I don't remember... No. I think we... Can we give him some... We don't give him money, I don't think. I think we just give him food. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, we'll say goodbye. Hey, look. Take care, huh? I mean, like, you're the only pal I got. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> uh huh. Bromance in the night time. Poor guy. So, yeah, you come see him a couple of times, actually. You don't want to see him just once. You gotta come visit him a couple of times. So, remember to do just that. And hopefully, if we're lucky, we can catch another event in the inn right now. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this thing is getting long. I have to stop this soon. We can. Okay, I believe we can do it. So when we come back, there's an event in here that we can catch, and uh, we'll keep going. Spend our night in Tarn, and then back to the Sambani. See you later, guys.